It's being on. Hello, hello. Okay, test, test. Yes, it's on. Hello, welcome back, everybody. My name's Dutch, and uh, in case you haven't noticed in the title of the video already, this is a uh, first impression of Gears 5's first week of content. Experience-wise, it might be a long video. I'm just going to spitball it and see what's what. Um, we got our first What's Up, September the 16th, 2019. Um, and in my previous video, my thoughts on the microtransactions and launch for Gears of War 5. Um, I think my fears are coming to reality. Um, and that is that it's, it's not, it's not turning out to be what it's supposed to be set out to be. Although maybe that's the plan, the plan all along. You know, I don't, I don't think any of this stuff that ends up in the game is by accident. It's all premeditated it's all planned it's all supposed to be there um, but me being a teacher like i want to teach things to people so that they can think for themselves and make you know educated decisions and not just sit there and go oh there's no other perspective to this there's no other decision to this because um, i'm about to hit you with some facts and if you don't like it then just dislike the video i don't really care um i'm just throw my information out there so Gears 5, first week. I don't know how many hours I've spent. Um, I was also sick, so I spent some hours, you know, whenever I could. Um, but so far, the campaign, to me, is good. Okay, as a Gears game, great. No problems there, no issues. I heard there's some problems with the components for Jack, but I've only played one playthrough by myself, and I didn't really, you know, notice that much. I had one crash and one technical... Uh, difficulty with like textures and stuff but other than that i was fine um then it comes to the multiplayer well just like it see says here right gears hits 3 million that's great don't really care about that because it doesn't really affect me um batista's been on uh, released also good but then comes the content right so escape to me i like escape i had a blast playing it playing with random people at the ra different different difficulties it kind of shows who's capable of doing what so that's good wasn't expecting that um, i do hope that the content kind of ramps up throughout the weeks and there's more to do there's very little reason to go into custom matches because custom matches don't go towards your progression in the game unlike gears of war freeze custom stuff you know but let's keep that in the past because that's neither here nor there um but yeah, I like Escape. So the next hive is going to be a bunch of hunters, aka sires in this case. Now, if you haven't played the campaign, then I'll just keep this a secret. And, you know, I won't talk about it, but it, it's fun. It's fun. You can add, you can earn a bunch of bonus skill cards to level up your characters, which is cool. Um, but anyway, let's move on to the actual uh, meat and potatoes of the What's Up. And this is usually where everyone loses their mind, right? Skins. Skin, skin, skin. You go into an esports uh, stream for Gears and it's all about skins. No one cares about the content itself. It's all skin, skin, skin. So this is what we get. We get JD salute with voice. I'm not sure what he's going to be saying during a salute, but okay. This to me, by the way, is all filler content. Okay, I know that TC wants to make it seem like it's actual stuff, but this is shit that like it's just one voice one model copy paste it to other people with a different voice line right and the only thing that makes this epic is that it's a combination of something that's green so common and something that's rare an expression you know salute so what can we really expect anyway so this is in the game you know get mac get a new torque bar execution fine whatever choked up nasher execution okay great i think i've seen this before in older gears games but fine you know let's start off that way first week we'll give it a pass long shot execution we've seen that before same thing for the swarm axe okay so on saturday you get the first uh boost bonus day which means that um your or sorry your your start double star date means your progression in the tour of duty will be doubled that day if you play the game um, or if you do those objectives. Now we'll see if this actually works. Remember, we always got to see if all of that stuff works. As you see in the bottom of this section, I've just gone through it once. Um, there's a lot of problems with, with progression in the game. Things not being added, things not being registered. 
so we'll actually see if this actually works. Now, me as a player and a longtime Gears of War fan, right? I'm not ignorant of the industry that is that is video games. People have to make money. Companies have to make money. That's why they exist. I get it. I get it. I work for a commercial company myself. Uh, I'm not going to disclose who it is, but it, it's it's part of the world. I get it. Okay? And I'm not against that. However, when you try to nickel and dime everybody for any bit of content that you get, you're doing it wrong. You're doing it wrong. It's not the way it's supposed to be done. It's not the way forward, like longevity wise. It just shows that you don't care about uh, uh, people's trust. And trust in business is very important. Very important. Now let's get into it, right? So we got esports characters, whatever. I don't really care. I think it's a scam, but whatever. If that supports the esports things and you look like, you know, a tin can. Hey, if you like that sort of thing, more power to you. Same with the Scion. All good. And we got delivery driver Mac. I'm not sure who asked for this, but okay. It's it's uh, uh, paid for content, right? So, okay. This is what all your money goes towards, apparently. And you get cardboard jack. So these cost $10, pop, $10 a pop. Not the esports one. They cost 15 Just the character, right? Just the character. So we went from Gears 4's loot box debacle to this. Just play 15 bucks and you get the character that you want. So. I hope I didn't play any music. Why am I hearing something here in the background? Whatever. Doesn't matter. Moving on. We got the esports storefront. Um... Yeah, this is, this is the weapon skins, basically, right? So next to the character, you're going to be spending either 10 bucks on a set, so $25 if you want the weapon skins. Just for a talent, you pay 5 you know, 5 bucks for just that skin. It's just... Ugh. If you buy all of this, I'm not sure what they mean by rifle, because they don't really specify yet. Uh, but say if it's other rifles, then it's 5 plus 10 plus 5 is 20 plus 25. Or, no, sorry, 30 for both characters. So that's $55. Am I getting it right? No, I'm not getting it right. That's $50. Um, and if you want the outside banner, which you can't see in here, you're going to pay another 4 So that in the first week alone, they're releasing $54 uh, worth of content. And if you take these as well, then it's 74 Okay. Good idea. But where it really takes the cake for me... Is the rehash bullshit. And I'm sorry to go, you know, start cussing. But this stuff has got to go. It has got to go. If you keep this in the game, all you're doing is creating more people like me, in my opinion. Because, you know, there's the people that will just buy it. There's people who won't buy it. And there's people who try to stop it. People like me. And I'm not saying I'm some virtuous fucking player or whatever. I bought the 70 euro pack. Because I'm going to be playing this game. And if there is something that I really want to buy. And I can't play for it. Then I will buy it. If I really want it. Don't give me any rehash bullshit though. So let's take a look. The bundle. The Get Hype Pack. A brand new bundle. Replacing the previous Get Sweaty Pack. Get Hype continues your Neon Wave collection. Of 5 Neon Wave Rifle Weapon Skins. Hold up. Continues your Neon Wave collection. It's a brand new bundle. So the Get Sweaty pack is this one. This is Neon Wave. You get five weapon skins. One Blood Spray Execution. Right? These are all the starter weapons for escape and multiplayer and stuff. In my opinion, they look like... They look terrible. They don't look like they're worth five bucks a piece. Um, you get the carve execution, which by the way, doesn't carve the direction that you're carving, but okay. And you get the one we want expression on Jack, apparently, or everyone doesn't actually say, um, okay. And you get a middle finger. Wow. You get all this for $25, but what they remember don't say is that you don't act or they do say. You don't get all the skins for 25. No, you get five weapons. Which means that if we go to all the weapons. Weapon. 
1, 2, 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18. 18 weapons. 25 for 5 weapons. That's $75 for all the weapons. If you buy it now. $75. At least. There's more, right? Because it's not missing. Three, three weapons are missing. And you get Get Hype Expression Global, which is something you earn in the Tour of Duty, I believe. Or do you? Let's take a look. I'm pretty sure um, this is only for a drone, right? Where is it? Raw Expression? No, I think I might already have it. Maybe not. No. On drone. Pretty sure it was here somewhere. Oh no, I think it was something you can buy. Or not. Metals, maybe? Yeah, there you go. So for, <laughs> for playing all this versus stuff, you get a drone expression. Not something global. You gotta pay for those. For, for one character, a drone. But what if you don't play the drone? Well, you're shit out of luck, man. You just earned something during this season... This entire season for a character that you don't want. Now, I'm willing to look the other way and say, let's give it a chance, because I will be playing this game. Let's give it a chance and let's see if the Tour of Duty or whatever, you know, the the supply drop loot thing, whatever, you know, is going to add. I'm willing to believe that it's going to be added. But why make it a progression reward for one character if you're going to be adding stuff like this into the whole draw pool for people who play the game anyway because it seems lazy to me it seems like you didn't think about this that people who play the first three months need something that motivates them and say look this is what you're already getting in the first three months right this is something worth playing for but instead you're giving us content that's in the campaign and expect us to play whatever amount of hours it takes to get all of this in three months time or shell out money you know just buy it well there's nothing to buy there's there's stuff to buy uh, that that i don't want i don't see anybody really wanting this in fact i think this is more of a meme to people when they see people use this they just think well I'm like oh Okay, you're like, you're cool, I guess. Like the ape skin, this is not stuff that just to me seems legit. You know, you get this if you buy the clothes as well, I think. Or it was during the promotion. So, why is it that the ape pack you get for 20 bucks, you get all the weapons, right? And you get this and you get the mark and the banner and stuff. You, you get it for 20 bucks, but then get sweaty is 25 and you get less i don't understand there is no value in here to me both look like crap but you still charge premium cash for this this is not a free to play game and even in a free to play game these are prices that don't they just don't work fortnite did it because it's fortnite right that stuff looks unique enough for people to shill money whatever whatever Okay, but in this game, this is a triple A game, full priced, ultimate edition cost 100 bucks, and this stuff is still prevalent. And to me, it just shows one thing, and one thing only is that whoever's in charge of that did not learn or never looked at what happened before. And if you're continuing down this road, you're making a grave mistake. That's all I want to say. Now, looking at the rest of the WhatsApp, you know. Obviously, the game just released. There's always going to be problems. It didn't have a real day one patch, uh, like most games. Um, so it's whatever, you know, I can deal with that. To me, the servers feel fine. When I play with my friends in the US, it seems like the 60 hertz servers just don't work properly. It just doesn't seem to matter. People will still shoot you through walls. And there's just a plethora of things like the flashbangs. Like, don't even, don't even get me started on all the technical things that I disagree with, but... Like I was saying, it just feels too, it feels like too many people had their hands in the cookie jar. Too many, too many cooks in the kitchen, whatever you want to call it. Too many people had input on the game to make it something that it's not, right? It, 
this is not Call of Duty. This is not Battlefield. This isn't Overwatch. This isn't any of those things. This is Gears War. Or at least it used to be. It got rid of the of war part. And like I said in my streams, maybe I am just too much of the of war part. And this game is no longer for me. But when I look at the reactions and I look at the player base, th this is the only real number I can get on Steam. The all-time peak on Steam is 10k. If I round it up. 24 hours, 6k. Last, you know, 28 minutes ago. Let's refresh that right now. 2600. It's just dipping more and more. And when we go to Steam itself. Right? Let me pull it up here. Let me go to the store. We find Gears 5. Oh, I'm already there. Oh. We go. It's mixed reviews. Right? And the most positive one. It's got 600 upvotes, sort of. Right? And then the negative one is also really high. And these are not shit posts, right? These are not shitty reviews. These are people who spent maybe like, look at this, like hours writing this down and thinking about this. Um, but you know, reading, if I just go through this real quick, the problematic microtransactions, half big horde and escape, unrewarding multiplayer progression, connection issues, bugs. <sighs> you know, it's. It doesn't deserve a recommendation in the release state. And exactly, that's that's exactly the point. Like, these things, I know they shouldn't matter all too much, but they do matter in the industry today. If you're going to base your battle, your, 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 uh, what's it called? Your, your, ah, got the word. Your microtransaction, whatever, your payment plan, let's just call it that. For lack of a better term right now. Um, if you're going to base that around this game. And you're going to put in free content. Like the Halo Reach stuff. Which I like. And add it into Escape as a new character and stuff. And all of that was free. Nothing is free. Okay. It either costs our time. Which is the most valuable thing someone has. Or their money. Which is also the most, most valuable thing most people have. And when I look at this as a Gears player through and through that is willing to grind out days of my life on this. And I just go like, either I play content that is bad or I pay. I'm, it's like a lost loss both ways, pretty much. Because I am somebody I like, if I like something of a game and I really want to, you know, grind it out. I did the same thing with Assassin's Creed Odyssey. You know, it's just a game that it's not perfect and I don't need it to be perfect, but I need it to be good enough. And I look at this game in the first week, I, there's a lot of things I can get used to, but I cannot get used to shit content because it just reminds me of what it used to be like and how it's just going downhill. And it's almost as if it's on purpose. Like there are more people who don't care when, but when I look at the people who do care, the vocal minority, right? They're just being ignored, apparently. Anyway, 20 minutes, yet again, just like the last one. Um, I'm going to be making more of these because if my mind do changes on these subjects, then you'll hear it firsthand from these videos. And like I said, these are not scripted, right? These are straight out of the heart, uh, from the heart, basically. Uh, what I see, what I notice, uh, and yeah, what what the reality seems to be you know and and i just hope it gets better man i really hope it gets better really really do um anyway i'm gonna call it there uh, i hope you guys have a good rest of your week if you just watched this video um <laughs> if you're watching this in the far far future from the release day <laughs> i hope it got better because <laughs> if not uh, You've probably seen me quit the game. <laughs> anyway, guys, have a good one. Thank you for watching, man. Take care.